handful of monkeypox cases have been reported or are suspected in Britain, Portugal, Spain and the US. The outbreaks are raising alarm because the disease mostly occurs in West and Central Africa and only very occasionally spreads elsewhere. And now continues at home for the sake of the public, he says. Jonathan Araujo shows us his lesions, the clear signs of monkeypox. By Zoom, he tells me... It's serious. It's not just sexually transmitted. It's not a gay disease. Here has shared these photos of his lesions. He is one of some 80 people in San Francisco who have confirmed monkeypox cases. He says it's been a challenge getting information on how to treat the lesions. Here's what scientists know so far. Monkeypox is a virus that causes fever and a distinctive bumpy rash. There are two main strains. The Congo strain is more severe, with up to 10% mortality. The West African strain has a fatality rate of 1%. Hello everyone, welcome to this edition of Vow. I'm your host as always, Katie Dix here. Glad you can join us here on Vibes. We talk about what is monkeypox. The monkeypox outbreak is spreading worldwide. And we know that um, there are some symptoms to it. But we'll get to the bottom of it right here, right now on Vow. But first thing first, join in the conversation using the hashtag Vow or Hill Connect. And don't forget, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe is caring. Tell a friend, call a friend, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss a thing here on Vibes. We talk about the monkeypox outbreak. In 2022, yes, monkeypox is a virus that normally spreads from human to human contact. Either you have fever, headache, chills, the um, rashes start to swell up and eventually go down. But lately now we've been hearing reports that um, monkeypox is a human to human contact and sometimes not be the case of some um, men having sex with other men are bisexual men. That might not be the case, but in those instances, we have seen it in some cases. But um, right now, it's a rare virus that's coming out right now. It's returning. Let's get the latest on what's going on and what is monkeypox. A handful of monkeypox cases have been reported or are suspected in Britain, Portugal, Spain and the US. The outbreaks are raising alarm because the disease mostly occurs in West and Central Africa and only very occasionally spreads elsewhere. Here's what scientists know so far. Monkeypox is a virus that causes fever and a distinctive bumpy rash. There are two main strains. The Congo strain is more severe, with up to 10% mortality. The West African strain has a fatality rate of 1%. Jimmy Whitworth is a professor of international public health at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. It usually starts with fever and headache. People feel pretty miserable and tired. They can get swollen glands. And then this typical rash develops, which is sort of pustular in form. And that's usually what's infectious. The virus was first found in monkeys in 1958, hence the name. But rodents are now seen as the main source of transmission. The virus spreads through close contact, both in spillovers from animal hosts and, less commonly, between humans. Transmission this time is puzzling experts. That's because a number of the cases in the UK have no known connection with each other. Only the first case reported on May 6th had recently travelled to Nigeria. The UK and US health officials also highlighted that the recent cases were predominantly among men who self-identified as gay or bisexual. One likely scenario behind the jump in cases is increased travel after COVID restrictions were lifted. Monkeypox puts virologists on the alert because it is in the smallpox family, although it causes less serious illness. Smallpox was eradicated by vaccination in 1980 and the shot has been phased out. But it also protects against monkeypox. Some epidemiologists say the winding down of vaccination campaigns has led to a jump in monkeypox cases. So this is quite alarming from a public 
health point of view and something that we really need to get a grip of and, and control as, as quickly as we can. There's no need to panic here. This is not going to spread and get into the general population and cause an epidemic like coronavirus has. Giving uh, smallpox vaccination to people who uh, are at high risk of being exposed to monkeypox or indeed shortly after they've got it will prevent them from getting the infection. So that is one of the interventions that will be uh, offered to contacts of, of people who uh, have had monkeypox. You saw right there, they broke it down, said, where's monkeypox? Monkeypox, like I said, from human to human contact, it doesn't have to be likely from um, homosexual men or bisexual men or however, monkeypox can spread anywhere from human contact, from um, linens, you name it, um, it's spreading worldwide. So we wanted to see an expert, a doctor, and here's what this doctor had to say on what should you do and how wide the symptoms are for monkeypox. Monkeypox with various mutations, which make many believe that monkeypox has been circulating within our community for quite some time. Common symptoms of monkeypox can include symptoms of fever, chills, and a rash that can look very similar to small pimples or blisters that can appear anywhere in the body, including the face, the mouth, the hands, or the feet. Transmission of monkeypox most commonly currently occurs from direct skin-to-skin -skin contact with someone who is infected and symptomatic. And although transmission via respiratory droplets is possible, it is uncommon. Infection can also occur from exposure to infected animals, such as scratches or bites from rodents, or even eating contaminated meat. The majority of cases have not required hospital admission, and there have been no recorded deaths in non-endemic areas. You should self-isolate and contact your local Department of Health for instructions on what to do and where to receive possible treatment. We are currently seeing increased rates of infection among gay and bisexual men, and although monkeypox is not a sexually transmitted disease, it can be transmitted during sexual and intimate contact. But it's important to note that anyone is at risk of getting infected with monkeypox. The average time from exposure to onset of symptoms on average is about one week, but can be as early as five days and as late as 21 days. Uh, there is no current approved treatment for monkeypox as it's mainly supportive, where the goal is focusing on managing symptoms Symptoms. However, there are antiviral medications that were originally developed to treat smallpox that has shown some benefit in the treatment of monkeypox for high-risk groups. It's generally recommended that those infected with monkeypox remain isolated until all of their symptoms and rash has fully resolved and healed. There are two vaccines currently available to protect against monkeypox, and historically, these vaccines have been shown to be more than 85% effective in preventing disease. General population vaccination is not currently recommended, but certainly Certain states like New York are providing vaccines to high-risk groups, such as sexually active gay and bisexual men, given the increased rate of infection within this community. Generally, the vaccine is well tolerated, but common symptoms include fever and pain at the injection site. Certain groups of people are at increased risk of vaccine side effects, such as those with immune system disorders, and it's generally not recommended for patients who are pregnant or planning to get pregnant within four weeks of vaccination. It's important to talk to your provider about what option. All right, you saw right there the doctor um, show what the symptoms are and how it'd be treatable. So um, monkeypox can be treatable, but you have to isolate yourself. Just like how COVID-19 was when folks had COVID. They isolated themselves for at least two weeks to um, let the virus die down. And they got to do the same with monkeypox. All right. Let's hear what you people, you people had to say about the monkey power, monkey pox virus outbreak. Let's hear what you people had to say. And here's some um, news clips as well on what people were going through with the monkeypox disease right now. Wallace says he's been dealing with monkeypox for three weeks now, and it's not over yet. We want to warn you, this illness is graphic in nature. We do not want to hide the severity of some of its symptoms, but you should know some of these images are hard to watch. Wesley Wallace says just being awake It hurts to exist. is excruciating. As you can see, from the time it started, it's just progressed and gotten worse and worse. It's right there on his face. What he first thought was just a pimple. And I was like, oh, God, 
please not me, please not me. Soon turned out to be monkeypox. Eight different lesions on his chin, even one inside his mouth. Every sip, every bite, it, it's just like, oh, I can't, I can't, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. And it's spreading. Now random little lesions are starting to appear on my body. So one on my hand, uh, there's one... There's one here, like there on my wrist. Wallace thinks he caught the virus at a bar July 4th weekend. I'm going to say I probably was kissing somebody that had it and didn't know it, um, just based on where my initial lesions pop up. But says access to the vaccine. There's a huge high risk population that is just hungry for the vaccine and they can't, they don't have access to it. Has been so scarce, his friends are leaving the state to get it. I have friends that are actually buying airline tickets, flying to other cities just to go get the vaccine and then come home. He says along with the pain and the symptoms can come isolation. The thing is you look at it and it's such an ugly virus. You know, you look at it, you just recoil and you're like, oh, I don't want to be anywhere near that. I knew the stigma that might come with it, but I also know that lots of people are facing that stigma. He has support, but wants others to know they're not alone. Just let them know that they're not some kind of pariah, that they're not dirty. And that it's going to be okay. It's not lethal. It's just very temporary. and It's scary for the moment. Wallace thinks he's got another week or so before he's finally safe to be around people again, making his total time in quarantine about a month. If you would like more information on monkeypox and the efforts happening in our community. Battle with monkeypox. The number of cases is on the rise across the country with the highest concentration right here in South Florida. Local 10's Hatzavella spoke with that patient about his painful experience. Hatzel is live at JMH with the exclusive today. Hatzel. Calvin, this is a young man, 24 years old, and he tells me he was hospitalized here at Jackson Memorial for several hours. He's back home now uh, documenting what he is experiencing because he wants other people to know what to expect. Jackson Memorial Hospital. This is what I got going on his video blog starts at the hospital and now continues at home for the sake of the public, he says. Jonathan Araujo shows us his lesions, the clear signs of monkeypox. By Zoom, he tells me... It's serious. It's not just sexually transmitted. It's not a gay disease. The 24-year-old bartender wants to erase the stigma. Anyone, he says, can get it. I didn't get it from risky behavior. I got it from going clubbing with my friends and enjoying a good time. He worries people are in the dark. Even people in healthcare don't know enough. I was sick with like a fever and like chills for like two two days. The fever, the chills, then broke. But days later, what looked like pimples came out. I had them like on my forehead, like right around here in the same spot. I had them like on my nose, on my arms and my chest, like up here and on my shoulders. It was when they showed up on his lip really that he knew something wasn't was right. Quarantine hasn't been easy, he says. A psychological roller coaster. As you wake up every day with a new bump, a new sore, another lesion, more pain. And you look at yourself in the mirror, at least I do, and I don't see myself. I see all these sores, I see all these bumps. You know, I can't even do, like, normal stuff. And they are painful. An 8 or 9 in a scale of 10. And worst of all, not knowing how long this will last. It's defeating. It really is. It's defeating. And so Jonathan goes on to tell us that uh, he's going to continue documenting his experience. In fact, if you want to see what he's going through, we are, will be sharing some of his social media uh, websites on our website, local10.com. You will also find there raw, unedited interviews with him from our conversations earlier. I've been, in his words, complete hell. The entire pain was just constant he's not sure exactly how he got it i was at bars i was going to pool parties i did attend a uh, music event but luke was contacted by the dallas health department apparently it was a contact tracing phone call who told him he may have been exposed to monkeypox sure enough the symptoms and the suffering soon followed and so did the blisters are they as bad as they look 
Oh my God, so much worse. So much worse. Anytime it graces something or touches something, it literally feels like someone's taking a potato peeler to your skin. The state is now reporting 110 cases of monkeypox and says 5,000 doses of the vaccine have been allocated to Houston. But the health department says it's only for those who have been exposed. Houston's dashboard reporting 22 cases. Luke was able to get the vaccine, but says his friends have had trouble. There are a few that are fighting to try to get the vaccine. There's not a lot of information out there about where to get tested, how to get tested. There's not a lot of information about getting vaccines. The Montrose Center doing everything they can to help clients find information and resources on the virus, but understand it can be frustrating. It definitely is something that we need to be paying attention to. This is not just a, a gay illness. This is not something that just affects gay men that have sex with men. Um, this is definitely something that can affect everybody. After three weeks, Luke's almost out of quarantine, but won't soon forget it what he went through is the most traumatic experience i've ever had um it's the worst sick i've ever been just please help us get that vaccine out in houston janelle blue to khou 11 news we spoke with a bay area man who has contracted the virus he is in isolation right now but he shared his thoughts new at 11 his firsthand experience and frustration i'm on day 18 of quarantine uh, i pretty much started on july 1st Stephen Ferris says it was the week after, as of Pride, that he learned he'd been exposed to monkeypox. He immediately got a vaccine, but the next day, the monkeypox symptoms began. The flu symptoms lasted for like three days. They were pretty bad, and as soon as the flu symptoms kind of went away, um, the pox started spreading, and it, it took about, like, they spread for about a good week, week and a half. Ferris shared these photos of his lesions. He is one of some 80 people in San Francisco who have confirmed monkeypox cases. He says it's been a challenge getting information on how to treat the lesions. There's a lot of uh, mixed information like do you keep the sores dry to help them crust quicker or do you use like healing appointments? Ferris says he's been in touch with friends across the country sharing information. I've known friends who got it that, that weren't having sex and they got it just from like casual touch. San Francisco ran out of monkeypox vaccines last week and is set to receive a new batch on Tuesday. Our local Department of Public Health is hearing from our state contacts that we should have another 4,000 plus or minus um, vaccine doses arri arriving. San Francisco Supervisor Rafael Mandelman says the city needs 35,000 doses. I think people are frustrated, angry. I think people who went through the AIDS crisis in the 80s and 90s are feeling a little bit of PTSD around this. People's physicians don't know how to treat that. State Senator Scott Weiner and community leaders held a rally outside the federal building in San Francisco Monday, calling for action. And House Speaker Nancy Pelosi also sent a letter Monday to Health and Human Services Secretary Javier Becerra, saying California alone needs at least 350,000 doses just to vaccinate the highest risk residents. Nationwide, there are more than 1,800 confirmed monkeypox cases. The federal government has ordered nearly 7 million doses, but most aren't expected to arrive until next year. Ferris says health officials told him he could need to isolate for a month or more because people can be contagious as long as they have the lesions. You have to wait two to four weeks uh, for the sores to cross and fall off. And for you people didn't a lot of you people got informed, educated on how monkeypox is and what can you do about it and how can you it's treatable. We hope that um this monkeypox virus uh fades away just like how COVID nineteen is fading away a little bit. Uh, it teaches us to um stay our distance in human to human contact. You can still have human to human contact, but don't have human to human contact that much. Now we know what monkeypox is kind of um, that you can touch somebody and you can get it or have sexual intercourse, however it goes, if you don't know that person has monkeypox. Um, one of those stories in Texas that do from Houston, that was kind of um, intriguing that um, he had got monkeypox by having contact with a person and he got it and spread and um you can tell he felt shame and embarrassed having the monkey pox right there. But hopefully he um will um it just could die down for him. All right, thank you all for watching this edition of our we talk about what is monkey pox and how is it spreading across the nation. I've been your host, Kendrick Dick, saying so long, and we'll see you next time for another edition of Viral.